friends mentioned the book Emotionally Healthy Spirituality and mentioned a few things from the book. It's written by Peter Scazzaro. So perhaps some of you have read it or perhaps you're even busy doing the Emotionally Healthy Spirituality course in your small groups, which is really amazing. And so today I would like to just talk a little bit about one of the things that he speaks about in the book, which is the daily office and how I have been implementing it in my life and how you can perhaps implement it in your lives as well. Now, what the daily office is, it is something that has been coming um, in the lives of Christians for many centuries and specifically also in the monasteries where they have very set and specific times of prayer. And the purpose of it is really that it's a means for us to become more aware of God's presence during our work day while we are busy doing the things that we do, whatever that might be. So it has always been a key for creating that continual awareness and familiarity with God's presence during our day, not only in those prayer times, but during the rest of the day as well. Some of you may know the book, The Practice of the Presence of God by Brother Lawrence, um, where he just explains quite practically in letters to friends about how to build that habit of being continually in God's presence throughout the day. And at one point in the book, he says that he no longer um, finds any difference in his set prayer times and just other times of the day because he's continually in God's presence. And that is really something that all of us can desire. And so the daily office is a means of us creating that space and that continual awareness of God's presence. Um, most of us will also know the story of Daniel in the Bible, where he also had his morning, afternoon and evening prayer times. Now, Daniel was a very successful man. He was very influential. He had a very high position and I'm sure he had very many things to do in the course of a day. And yet he found the time and obviously found it essential as a part of his day to have these set times with the Lord. David also had them, Jesus had them, his disciples had them, and even Jews today still have these set prayer times. And so it really is a key in our walk with the Lord to create that um, awareness of God's presence. Now, I'm going to share a few things that I've learned um, from the book and that I've been doing. But he makes it very clear in the book that it's really not so much about what we do, but it's about the fact that we are spending time with the Lord. So it's not so much about what we do, but about who we are with. And so there's no specific method or um, routine or specific length of time that it needs to be. That's far less important than the fact that we are stopping to be with the Lord. In the book, he mentions four elements of the daily office. The first one is to stop. So obviously, we need to stop from what we're busy doing to be able to spend time with the Lord. And so what I decided to do a few months ago was to take two 10-minute slots during my work day. So this is apart from my time with the Lord in the morning to just stop and, and, and do this. And sometimes it's really hard because I'm in the middle of something, something I need to finish or... I'm trying to figure something out and it's really hard to stop. But what's been really powerful for me is to, in that moment, to stop and by stopping to declare that God is in control and that he is on his throne and that he doesn't need me to help him run his world. That not everything is in my hands, but it's in his hands. And so that's really powerful. The second element is centering. And what that just means is that we focus our attention completely on the Lord. So we forget about all the other things that are going on around us, or we try to, and we just fix our attention on Him. And you will also know that that is a very great feat in itself, because there's just so much going on around us. We need to put off our phones. Uh, we need to move away from our computers. Sometimes there are kids around us. Um, so it's sometimes really difficult. But that is the second element of the daily office. The third one is silence. And um, so the purpose, purpose of that is to, to just allow the Lord to speak to us. Um, perhaps we will hear him, perhaps we won't. Perhaps he will say something, perhaps he won't. 
The purpose is not so much to, to ask for things and to pray about things, but just to be with the Lord and to just sit with Him. And while it's not the goal, there will definitely be fruit from that time. And then the last element is scripture. And one of the things that he suggests is to read through the book of Psalms. Apparently that is quite common in the resources and devotionals which deal with the daily office. But obviously there are a multitude of ways in which we can incorporate the scripture into these times. I've chosen to read the Psalms and it's, you know, it's really been very refreshing for me. So that has been amazing. So today I would really like to encourage you to try and incorporate the daily office into your lives in some way. It's definitely going to look very different for each one of us and I just want to remind you again that there's no formula, there's no method, there's no set way of doing this. Um, in his book he actually says if it works do it, if it doesn't work then don't do it and then find another way that does work for you. The goal is to spend time with Jesus. That is why we do this. And um, I'm absolutely convinced that you are going to bear amazing fruit. It's going to be an amazingly fruitful time as I have already experienced as well. Thanks very much.